بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سید فاروق حسن از بیک ود نیو ایپیسوڈ آف اسکائی از دی لمٹ پاکستان ہیز بین اے فرنٹ رنر ان اے لاٹ اف اسپورٹس اف وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ہاکی وی ٹاک اباؤٹ اسکواش وی ٹاک اباؤٹ سنوکر وی ٹاک اباؤٹ کرکٹ وی ہیو لیڈ دی اسپورٹس فار مینی مینی ایئرس ون اسپورٹ وچ آئی پرسنلی فیل ہیز بین سلائٹلی نگلیکٹڈ is boxing we've produced hussein shah bronze medalist we've produced mohammed wasim we have a lot of talented aspiring boxers coming from liari karachi today my guest is an amazing personality he is a world class heavyweight boxer representing pakistan internationally i am going to introduce you all to Taimur Khan. Assalamu alaikum Taimur. Wa alaikum salam. What a pleasure to be here with you and uh, I was just going through your profile and your achievements. Mashallah in the heavyweight uh, category you are the only boxer who has performed in international uh, matches and uh, you know your vision of becoming the world champion putting Pakistan on the map is tremendous. But let me start from the basics. Boxing, I believe, is probably not one of the most popular sports in Pakistan. We have cricket, we have squash, we have hockey and other games. But boxing, I believe, is a slightly neglected field. But we have a lot of boxers from Liari, Karachi. We have uh, Sen Shah, we have uh, Mohammed Vaseem. And now you bringing laurels for Pakistan. So I personally believe that a lot of focus and effort should go into boxing. How did your journey start? Do you, did you start your journey from Karachi also? Where were you born? How did it all start? So, uh, I was born in Mardan, and, uh, but I, my study and my, I grew up in Islamabad. Okay. Uh, I was, uh, when, I, when I was young, I liked fighting. I, watch, I used to watch you know, WWE wrestling. So then my brother took me to boxing, uh, like in 2008, 2009. I was so young. After that, my journey started, and inshallah, uh, I achieved uh, many uh, medals in Pakistan Amateur Boxing Championship. And now I'm professional, and inshallah, my target to become a world heavyweight champion. That's my dream, to represent Pakistan. Inshallah, inshallah. and we are all praying for you. Yeah. So, um, tell me, Taimur, you were born um, in Khaybar Pakhtun Khan, yeah. Mardan, as you said. Uh, and and Mardan, uh, you started schooling there. You went to school there. Were you? How many siblings were you? How many brothers sisters? We are uh, four brothers and two sisters. Uh, like I said, I I born in Mardan, but I grew up and uh, my study and my all uh, journey is uh, in Islamabad. In Islamabad. Islamabad, yes. So you you were born in Mardan, but then you moved to Islamabad. Islamabad, yeah. So you were the eldest brother, or uh, you know, like you had some. No, I'm the younger brother of all my family. Okay, all, yes. in all your family. Yeah. So do you have any other brother who's into boxing? Yeah, my big brother is a, he used to play boxing, but not professionally, just like uh, for fitness. Okay. And then he took me to boxing. He took you to boxing. Yeah. So when you started school, yeah. were you a naughty kid or were you the one who would always fight with other kids? And were you like Yeah, that? yeah, I was. <laughs> you know, <laughs> okay. I used Everyone to, was scared yeah, of you. I used to fight in the schools. I used okay. to fight in the streets. So my family and my brother, all, every time and they were. And your teachers all, would have yeah. said that you know it's better yeah. you uh, yeah. take it to some constructive yeah. uh, field, huh? Yeah. And were you good in studies? Like. Yeah, I was good in study, but you know I was born to fight. You know that's okay. my. So studies was never your priority. Yeah, yeah. Your priority exactly. was always yes. sport. Since I was. Uh, uh, very young from that time i i want to become a fighter because i was uh, used to watch bruce lee okay muhammad ali so i want to become like him like them right from childhood yes yeah, so and school did like were you a good student like were you in the top three or average student like were you good in studies i was good in, in study actually mm -hmm. but uh, after some time my focus on study Shifted. like uh, yes like a 50 50 like okay and, uh, I, and and did you play any other games in school like other boys like cricket and football hockey yeah, I, i used to play football actually football yes and uh, you liked football yeah football i 
apply like a three more than three years okay. then uh, switch to boxing yeah okay okay yeah. great and who was the major influence in your life in during your early childhood your brother your father your mother who was more close to you or more who had more influence on you actually uh, i will give my all credits to my brother that uh, like i said what's he, his name uh, nurul bashar nurul yes. bashar he took me to boxing he's your manager also yeah he's my yeah, manager yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, my mother is a great lady and you know is a great she's uh, helped me a lot uh, encouraged you yeah, a lot in training you know even when i, I used to train uh, hard training even now when i, I come uh, after training i go home she cook a lot of healthy meal for me ah. and uh, she always push me so i think i'm very lucky person yes. that uh, i have a very lovely family who support me Mashallah. you know mostly in pakistan uh, parents does not support uh, like a athlete uh, something like that mm. they they focus more on study yes but uh, my my story is different my mother and my family all they support me even when i go for the match boxing match my mother pray so much for me so um, you did your matriculation you did your matric uh, yes exactly and after that Uh, so you had no ambitions or no force from the family to become a doctor or an engineer or anyone no 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 that's uh, actually my big brother is a software engineer and the other brother is a lawyer and uh, nurul bashar like uh, he's my manager he's a businessman so in in my family they have everyone so so yeah you the, were okay yeah. to do whatever you want yeah, yeah exactly no pressure yeah. you you took up what arts or sciences in your pre uh, fsc like what did you do yeah i did in english uh, language yeah okay uh, in metric and then fa as well okay and after FA, that, what subjects did you have uh, in fa actually i did persian uh, persian yeah persian okay so after that i did bcom from the lahore Uh, you did become yes exactly okay very good after that i uh, moved to ms sports science okay so, and you did your masters in sports yeah, science yes exactly very nice that's that's amazing that's that's great and i think you got all the encouragement from your family so you yeah. were at liberty to do whatever yeah. you want to do and yeah. that that counts yeah. a lot obviously so um, this boxing thing um, you know when did you first enter the ring or when you said you've been watching videos when you were a kid but what was the what's the first memory that you have when you asked your brother that okay i want to become a boxer and he took you to a ring when was that in which class were you uh, i was uh, i think i was like uh, in seven or eighth class maybe i uh, six seven yes and i i'm i yes. don't know exactly but six seven six eight was okay. there okay 12 13 years yeah So okay. after that uh, you you asked your brother that okay I I want to go to a professional boxing no, actually he took me to boxing so he took he, you, okay yeah. okay so that time he was in uh, in Malaysia mm. and uh, you know I was in Pakistan so he sent money every month for me for my training for my gym fees and so he helped me a lot okay so after so how was the how were the initial days when you went when he took you Uh, did you like it or were you like no this is not my cup of tea or were you like okay this is what i want to do actually in the training i li- i really like it okay. and when i i did training and i used to train so i i, I thought that i'm the real champ okay nobody in nobody pakistan can beat <laughs> nobody can but uh, when in uh, first championship under 16 boxing championship in hyderabad i went there so and i got knocked knock out in okay. my first round yeah someone so, knocked you out yeah some, someone knocked me out so after that I your thought, myth was broken that yeah. i am not the undisputed yeah, yeah, champion yeah. there are other players also yeah. actually that time i thought that i am the real deal yeah. okay there is no one yeah so but uh, like mike tyson say everyone ha- has a plan until they get punch not on the a, face yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, that's a big saying yeah the big saying after that i I left boxing for 5 6 months. So then I left 5 6 month boxing after that my brother asked me that uh, how is your training going on so I say uh, I Have leave bo- I love leave boxing yeah he said why mm. say because I get knocked out so after that I'm very disheartened so he say no then he sent me some videos like Muhammad Ali Mike Tyson uh, Vladimir Klitschko 
uh, is a very famous boxer from Ukraine. So then I use that, uh, watch that fights, and they say, I say, he, they can knock, knock out. So why? Why can't uh, I? Yeah. And this so. was when, uh, when, when, which, how, how old were you when this Hyderabad fight took place and you got knocked out? It was uh, in 2011. 2011. 2011. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so then you again started picking up. Yeah. And you derived motivation, and yeah. then you went at the ring again. Yeah. After that, I many I I knock out many boxers, and uh, then my motivation go more you know high. So okay. Yeah. Uh, and even this yeah. this boxing training, when you said you train to be a boxer. Yeah. What does that mean? How, what kind of training do you do? What kind of a training would a person be required if he wants to, to do to become a boxer? Boxing, uh, it's, a, it's a just not only sports, it's a lifestyle, you know. So if you, are, if, if you want to be a good boxer, you have to change your, all your lifestyle. Your routine, your, your lifestyle, your everything. So it's uh, not just a sport. So like, I, like when I was very no, naughty guy, like, you know, mm. I fight, used to, but when, when I start boxing, then my life become very changed. You left the naughtiness? Yeah, yeah everything. Okay. I, my life was, got so disciplined, you know, I sleep on the time, you know, wake up on the time, so. And that was from inside you, yeah. like no one forced yes, you? No to. one, no one forced me, because it's, uh, you know, if, uh, that time I, I, I was thinking, if I want to be, be a top, on top, so I have to, I have to do this, all these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If just for, you know, like uh, for fitness, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. But if you want to on the top, so then you have to sacrifice everything. Mm. And that's what I did. You have to change your lifestyle. Yes, exactly. exactly. So besides eye and hand coordination, which is yeah. required for boxing, what is one key thing which is most integral in boxing? Your mind. Your mind. If you cannot control your mind mm -hmm. on the fight, mm -hmm. even in, li in normal life, if you, if you cannot you control your mind, you lose everything. Oh. That's what uh, we do in the boxing. Like if you got uh, get angry and you lose your conscious mind, so then you, even you are very tough guy. You are uh, you train really hard. Doesn't matter. And how much role does stamina yeah. play <clears throat> in boxing? Actually, uh, you have to give hundred percent everything. Stamina hundred percent, diet hundred percent, lifestyle hundred percent. Training everything 100%. Okay. That's, that's all champion do. Okay. Not like if you are not, you cannot rely on just on stamina. Okay. You have to work on technique. Okay. You have to sleep early. You have to take a healthy diet. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, so everything. Uh, and what about when you say a healthy diet? Yeah. What kind of a diet is required to become a good boxer? Healthy diet uh, depends on boxer. Like I'm a heavyweight boxer. So, Mohammed Wasim is a flyweight. He's a flyweight boxer, yeah. So, how many categories are there? Sorry to have cut you, but how many categories? Like lightweight, flyweight, middleweight, heavyweight, how many categories? I think uh, in, in, in amateur boxing, there's uh, 10 categories. Okay. And uh, in professional, there is like more than 12, 13 categories. And you're yeah. in professional? Yeah, I'm a professional. And uh, when you say heavyweight boxing, yeah. what ca where does it start from? How much weight do you have to have to come into heavyweight boxing? Heavyweight actually start from 92 plus. Like 92 kgs? 92 plus. 92 yeah. kilograms plus, yes, if your weight is 92 yes, kilograms plus, yes. you can become a heavyweight Yes, yes. If uh, someone is 95 kilo, 93 kilo, and his opponent is 120 kilo, they can fight. They can fight? Yeah, they can and fight. And the 92 kilograms can win? Yes. It, if, uh, if one guy is a 120 kilo yeah. and other guy is a 93, 94 kilo, but yeah. he have a very, he's very Agile, sharp, very sharp. Uh, more cardio, the heavy, the other 120. He can beat him with stamina yes, and everything. Yes. Okay. Maybe the 93 kilo guys, they have no that much power, ah. but the 100, but he have a stamina, he have, okay. he have more movement, you know, okay. if he train like that. Okay. So it's a uh, and and what kind of diet is required for a boxer? Like w meat, chicken. Uh, what kind of a diet? Ideal diet. In the boxing, it depends on the weight categories. So like like I said, I'm a heavyweight. So in heavyweight, I need more calories, more uh, carbohydrate, mm -hmm. more protein. So I eat a lot. What's your normal diet? What do you eat? In the normal diet, I can. 
I will explain my like our training camp diet. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, in training camp I eat like a 200 plus gram protein. Okay. Yeah, five to six hundred gram carbohydrates mm -hmm. from different sources like banana, white rice, potatoes, and a lot of vegetables. You keep uh, a track of whatever you eat. Yes, yes, yes. My coach uh, make a plan for me, and my uh, fitness trainer make a plan like all for two, three months plan. So I have to follow that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Every day, and how much calories do you take every day? Mm, I think. Three to four thousand calories there. Yeah. But you train every day also, yes. twice a day? Yes, sometimes uh, three times three a day. Three times a day. Yeah, and one day. hour each, two hours each? No, like in the morning, m normally in the morning, I train two hours in the morning, mm -hmm. early morning, mm -hmm. and then two hours in the evening. Mm -hmm. But sometimes like I can I train three times, like mm -hmm. a afternoon I train mm -hmm. one hour for like fitness or some uh, strength and conditioning. So sometimes okay. it could be three sessions. Yeah. Okay. So for that, I need very healthy diet. Yeah. You know, it's, our body is like a, it's like a machine, you know? Yeah. So if, uh, if, you, if you don't put a fuel, then... It won't run. Yeah. And this boxing equipment, is it an expensive equipment? Like the gloves and the, you know, uh, you know where you punch the yeah. punching bag and all. Is it an expensive sport? Uh, in Pakistan, I, I don't think so. It's expensive because uh, in Pakistan we have uh, different companies here, like Green Hill, RDX, mm. and many local companies in Sialkot. Mm. So uh, I don't think so. It's expensive here, but in other countries, yes, it, it is expensive. It is an yes. expensive sport. So um, the financial side, obviously. Um, how do you cover that? Because you are training full time. You're not doing a job. <coughs> You're not doing any, you know, active business. Yeah. How do you cover your expenses? Actually, boxing is a. People think it's a just it's a sports, but like for time pass. Or, but it's a full time job. Job and a lifestyle. Yes, it's a full time job. If you are doing boxing, you cannot do other things. You cannot do working. You cannot do business because you have to. Sometimes, like I'm here now, right now. Maybe next month I. I, I I moved to Thailand, mm -hmm. moved to uh, Russia mm -hmm. for training camp. Mm -hmm. So our lifestyle is uh, very different. We cannot do other things like jobs and mm -hmm. business things. So for like in the, in the Europe and mostly other countries, different private companies, this uh, sponsors, boxers and other athletes. Here in Pakistan, they also do, but uh, I, I, ha I have different uh, sponsors before. Okay. Uh, but right now I'm out of sponsors, uh, so because you know the situation of the country is. Uh, I guess but but is the government of Pakistan? Did you get any support from them? Like, have they recognized you officially, or are they, you know, trying to promote you internationally? For the moment, uh, no. Uh, no. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Right but now. before, before. Before, yeah. Mm. Occasionally. Yeah. Like sometimes. Sometimes. All right. Uh, okay. No, no, I, but I, not like a proper way, you know. Uh, the way that yeah, that is required, and the vision that you have is to become the world champion. You know, right? I am I'm the only heavyweight boxer in Pakistan, I, and there is a lot of good fighters mm -hmm. in MMA, boxing, but they they're running everything on the like the nobody sponsors? no 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 yes ah. everything that they do their own mm -hmm. nobody support them ah, okay. in Pakistan. I have some sponsor before uh, my last fight. There's a one private company who support me for my all my expenses. But uh, like recently, right now my family is supporting me for okay. my everything. Okay. Yes, okay. so okay. I'm a very lucky person. No, yeah. you are a lucky person, yeah. and and I'm sure the vision that you have yeah. and the way you're going, yeah. inshallah, ta'ala, I'm sure the government of Pakistan will recognize sure. you. Um, uh, you know, uh, sooner or later. I hope, sure. I hope so. Yeah. So, so um, Tamur, tell me, um, what do you think is the level of boxing in Pakistan right now? Uh, you train a lot, you go to different academies. There are many youngsters who are trying to come into this arena and become Tamur Khan. Yeah. What's the level of their uh, competence, their playing field? What do you see? For, I can say, I will say in the short 
and this for, for, the, for the new generation. Just stay focused and uh, stay motivated, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, it's a long journey. Mm -hmm. It's not like a short, there is no shortcut. There is no shortcut. There is no shortcut. Like any other field, there is yeah. no shortcut. You have, like I said, you have to give 100% in every, every field you choose. Mm -hmm. When they study, boxing, football, cricket, whatever, you have to give 100%. Mm -hmm. You cannot do like that, that I joined boxing club and after two Next months I become, become a champion. A champion. No, it's, it's, it's not work like that. So you have to give 100%, mm -hmm. you know, motivated. But after that, yeah. Do you see other Tamur Khans here in Pakistan? Do you yeah, see any, yeah, there any good yeah. players? There's a lot of like, in my, even in my boxing gym, mm -hmm. there is a lot of good uh, talented boxers. Do you think and anyone here can beat you? Uh, it's, uh, you know, like I can say, the, I'm in my gym, uh -huh. I'm the only heavyweight boxer. Oh, okay. So, uh, there's no other categories in my weight. So, yeah, they have, we have uh, some other categories like lightweight, middleweight. So, I used to spar with them sometime, you know, they helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. My coach uh, helped me so much. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, in Pakistan, there is a very good fighters. Mm -hmm. There is a good fighter. So I think Pakistan become, uh, you know, like in cricket, if government invests on Pakistan uh, boxing, so we can create... Really develop can, the sport and yes, become... Yeah, we can well create many champions. Okay, yes. very nice. And, and um, if you become a champion or if you do well internationally, the financial rewards are also good, I yes, believe. Huh? Yes, if you yes. win a fight, yes. you get a lot of uh, yes. money. Yes. A lot of... Uh, Sponsors, a lot of uh, financial assistance also. Yeah. It's uh, depend actually on the fights. Mm -hmm. Like for in the beginning, you don't get so that much. Okay. Yeah. When you are on the top, mm -hmm. like if you are uh, become, if you are on the top 20, top 10, you can make a millions. But uh, like I said, it's a long journey. Mm. Every boxer should, you know, stay focused. It's not like if somebody start boxing another day, he will become a millionaire or billionaire. No, nice. we have to sacrifice everything. And you have to wait for your time. Yeah, you, you have, have to, to wait hard. for them. Yeah, you have to wait. You have to sacrifice and you have to give everything. After that, if Allah want, you can achieve your goals. Inshallah. Yeah. Have you ever had a fight with Amir Khan? No, Amir Khan. No, he's my he's my very good friend of my. You've met him. Yeah, I. Which I category is, does he fall in? He's a fight uh, in welterweight, middleweight. Middleweight. Yeah. Okay. So he's a very good friend of me, but. Uh, uh, we You've never fight. had a fight. Yeah, with him. we cannot because he's different category. Ah. I can fight only the Heavyweight. guy, who's a big. Nin Ninety-two kgs yeah, plus. Yeah, big guys. Okay. Yes. I I have a couple of. Uh, people who are 92 kgs plus and I need to settle a score with them. <laughs> I will ask them to yeah, fight. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I want some sparring partners. <laughs> you want some sparring partners. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, because I'm in conversation with Tamur Khan, a very, very interesting personality and mm. I am really, you know, pushed by the way he is determined to become a world champion. And of course, I wish him all the best. Our prayers are with him, all the Pakistani nation. And, and a humble request, obviously, to all the right quarters that we need to support our Pakistani youth who have performed well in the international arena and who can bring more accolades for Pakistan. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Sky is the Limit. I am Sayed Farooq Hassan and I am in conversation with Tamur Khan, who is the heavyweight boxer, champion from Pakistan, with a vision and a resolve to become the world champion. So, Tamur, tell me, when was your first international fight and where was it? My first fight was in Lahore, uh, in a governor house uh, under the promotion of Amir Khan. Okay. And my opponent was from Iran. Uh, he was a really tough guy, really, really what tough guy. What was his guy. name? Uh, Muhammad Ali Shahidi. Okay. Muhammad Ali Shahidi, Aziz Awad. Okay. Uh, he was a really tough guy when I, when my Amir Khan uh, done my fight and fixed my fight, so I, I thought he was just a normal guy, but when I met him in the Lahore okay. in press conference, so <laughs> I was shocked, really. Okay. He was a really, really, really big guy. Big guy. And muscular and very strong guy. Okay. So, 
everyone my even my friends and my even my brothers mm -hmm. nurul basha he said yeah, it's 50 50 you know yeah, so, yeah. Uh, were you scared I, I was I was scared. He was scared. yes. You were because, like uh, feeling a bit. Any fighter who go to the ring, they scare. Mm. They press some kind of pressures and yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of normal, pressure yeah. from <laughs> friends, family, and you have to perform. Yes. That pressure is a lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that time I was, you know, I was really. You can say like, very little. I was disheartened. Yeah, like, how I can beat this guy? You know, you know. Everyone, everyone is against me. Like too strong. Yeah, and very strong guy and very experienced. Mm -hmm. He have a more experience than me. He was the Asian Games silver medalist and uh, ten time Iran national champion. So I was really, you know, shocked. Yeah, like what, what should I? But you know, like my mother, she prayed for me so much. And uh, and when I when I enter to the ring and I start fight with him. That time I can feel the my mother prayers. That it's really work. And uh, he was a really tough guy, but Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, our praises to God that I knock him out in the fourth round. Okay. And that's why. And what was the technique that you used? How did you beat him? You know, he he was so fast. So and I'm I'm also fast, but he was a uh, faster more than faster you. than me. Yeah. But uh, you know, it was a, if the fight was the arena was uh, out outdoor, in the Garner House, and uh, it was a December month, winter, uh, very very cool. So he, when he moves moves the ring, and I'm so we, we feel very cool, you know, in the ring. So that's the things. Uh, he when he, st he started attacking me, he got tired in second round, in third round ah, because of because cold. The cold. Yeah. And that's what that's that's what benefited you. Yeah, and then in the fourth round, I throw overhand, which uh, is landed on the his, his chin, okay. and he knock it, knock, knock out. Wow. And, and you never fought with him again? No, no. He, actually, he's now my very good friend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. That's so, that's a good strategy. Actually, yeah. you should make friends with all yeah, the boxers. Yeah, because in our, outside of the ring. We all like one family. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We, we have, we share the ring. We, ha you know, we build uh, each other career. So it's a sport. It's not yes, a fight. Yes. It's a, it's a exactly. sport basically. Okay. So this was your first international exposure, yeah. and you did well. You won it, and then, how? Where did you go from there? Where was your first international fight outside Pakistan? My first fight was uh, in Thailand. Okay. Uh, with the Thai guy, I knock him out in the first round, in first minute. And after that, uh, the promoter announced fight for me with the Indian guy. He was oh. undefeated as well. In and Bangkok? Yeah, in Bangkok. So I, at that time, I, I fight in Pakistan too with Pak local guys as well, uh, two persons. So I knock him the, uh, knock them out as well. Uh, when my fight is confirmed in, with the Indian guy, so my coach and my teammates, they are supporting me so much and helping so much. So in my training camp, um, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, that fight I also I won by knockout in the fourth, uh, in the fourth round, yeah. Okay. That Indian guy. And that was my Asian Boxing Federation title fight. Wow. And after that, I was so motivated, so, so, because the, the government of Pakistan uh, sorry, the uh, Pakistan Ranger, they invited me. It was a uh, August month, so they invited me on 14 August to Wagga border and they gave me a very warm welcome. Wow. Yeah, in wow. my village, uh, Mardan, Takhbai, Muhammad Roskari. Takhbai? Yeah, Takhbai. Yeah, we have a small village in Takhbai, uh, Muhammad Roskali. It's a very small village, so my cousin and my relatives, they give me really good welcome there different places i got very you know good attention so that's the thing that make me a lot of motivated a lot and of encouragement yes because now first i have to fight for my for myself but mm. now i have to fight for them mm. because uh, i'm the they're like you can say that i'm their hero mm -hmm. you know in my village in islamabad so 
I now I have I have to fight for them, you know, to <laughs> build my and that's my dream that to become the world heavyweight, world the champion. first yeah. heavyweight boxer from Pakistan to become a world heavyweight champion. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So they call you the uh, the knockout machine mm -hmm. in the boxing arena, and you had basically uh, you're the first Asian heavyweight boxer with ten consecutive wins. Yeah. So what 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 drives you? What is this? unstoppable, unbeatable spirit. How do you develop that? Uh, first of all, like I said, all praises to Allah. It's all from Allah. Bishop. We are nothing. You know, in, especially in the boxing uh, game, one punch change your whole life. Yeah, all life. So even if my opponent is a small guy or he's, a, like a, he's not that powerful, but he punched me, he's, he's heavyweight. He's 92 plus kilo, so he he can knock me out. Yeah. So he can cause damage to you. Yes, exactly. So I'm I train hard, but when I go to the ring, I I, I leave everything on Allah, that whatever will happen. So I think it's all from I'm like I'm said I'm a very lucky guy. Allah loved me so much. So that's why my uh, record and my uh, game and my performance going better day by day. And how do you keep your mind strong? Mind. What do you do for mind strength? It's a very uh, like a difficult question. Okay. You know, mind, the power of mind, the power of brain is, uh, you know, it's take a lot of time and uh, you have to, I can say simply that stay away from negative thoughts, negative people's you know, and go to more like positive mentality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, your gathering should be with positive mind people, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your, and I think your parents and your family is the uh, most, like, they can give you good uh, mental, Support like and mental, mental power, yeah. Okay. So, okay. for that, I, you know, when I started boxing, in my, even my brother, uh, he helped me a lot for my, to build my, brain and my mind power. Okay. I was like, when I, before, you know, when I go to the ring, I was like a little confused. Conscience, yeah. So, but every time I go to the ring, I call to my mother, my brother, and he, he motivated me. So, and he helped me a lot to build my mind power. Great. And Alhamdulillah, day by day I'm improving. Mashallah. Yeah. Who's your icon? Who's your all time boxing icon? Muhammad Ali? There is a one guy, Muhammad Ali, yeah, greatest of all time. You know, he, actually, when I, I, I started boxing, I used to watch his fights, so, and I want to become like him. Muhammad Ali yeah, Clay. Yeah, Muhammad Ali Clay, the wow. greatest of all time. Yes, absolutely. I still remember. Yeah. If you even you get his, uh, you know, archives in archives, you get his fights. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah, uh, he's, he's. You start loving the sport. Yeah, he, he, he's actually. Like, like a legend, you know, legend. So he's, he's not only in boxing but in normal like uh, his life are he give like a positive things to the, to the world so I think he's a great personality for me mm -hmm. and obviously for the world but he's a great personality I follow more more I follow him yeah, more absolutely yeah. great so what kind of support are you expecting or do you think the government can provide for you to actually become the world champion and represent Pakistan at the World Forum? The, for I, my request from, from the government of Pakistan yeah. to, to help my, like, uh, my training camps, my uh, expenses out of uh, the country, you know, when I go to the for fight, you know, like I'm now heavyweight, okay, and I have to fight now in future. Not in future, like maybe in, in next year, in January, February, I have to fight top 20, top 30 in the world. So for that, I need good training. I cannot train here in Pakistan because, like, like I said, I'm the they're only. There yeah. aren't enough facilities there. I'm the only heavyweight in, in in Islamabad. Okay. So there is no sparring partner for me. You know, if I if I want to beat that guys the top 20, top 30, or even world, uh, world champion, I have to 
train like them and for train like them I have to go for like outside of the country for a good training uh, coach uh, session where I have a good sparring partner and the other thing my if the government of Pakistan invest on me yeah so so I can I can I can give a good image to of Pakistan that we have we are a very uh, beautiful people yeah so if government Pakistan invest on me mm -hmm. so handsome boxer like me so <laughs> People know in the world that... <laughs> I like your confidence. Yeah. So that uh, Pakistani people are very beautiful people. No, I, so think that's, above all, I think that was on a, in a lighter vein. But I think above all, representing the green flag yes. anywhere in the world yes. is an honor. Exactly. And if you manage to win that competition, yes. that puts Pakistan on the top. Yes. You know, so that's a great feeling. Yes, exactly. Above all, you know. You know, in... in in top rank is a big company in America and they started taking interest in me and I'm in Pakistan mm. but my record and just so they asking uh, more information from my promoter mm. who is a Some Filipino, Filipino guy uh. he live in Thailand so these all small uh, not small but it's a big motivation for me mm. like that I'm in here now in Pakistan but but top rank in America, they know about me. Mm. So, inshallah, they, I'm working, and inshallah, uh, next year, I hopefully have fight in America, because in, in Asia, there's no more heavyweight. Ah, uh, okay. So, if I want to improve, I have to go to America, and my request once again from the government of Pakistan, that support me, and I... Inshallah, inshallah I'm sure your voice will yeah, be heard in the right yeah. quarters, and you'll be doing great. Uh, so, you're an icon, people know you, you're a famous guy, the only heavyweight boxer from Pakistan. Yeah. Are you doing any social work or are you giving back anything to the society? Are you, uh, you know, involving kids, training kids, free of cost? Are you doing any social work also? Yes, yeah, so I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm teaching in my gym, in my, uh, where I live, uh, in Islamabad, there, in my, I, when I, I'm working with Al Khidmat Foundations, uh, like in the last year, uh, the flood. Flood. Uh, oh, okay. I, I, I work with them, so, and that's my dream to become the boxing champion. And that money I give to what's uh, one percentage to the poor people or the helpless people in Pakistan. Right. That's my dream. That's, that's Even nice. now, I'm when I have money, I help. Poor people. I'm not saying for this that I'm a good guy, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's like you know, it's a uh, when they pray for me, that yes, energy. That's what hits yes, you, and that's what that makes energy, you a good, yeah. good and a great person for that yeah. matter. So, do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, I have a lot of friends. Yeah. Are they scared of you? No, <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> because I <laughs> do they call you if they ever get into a fight on the road? That okay, you just wait. I'll call my friend Taimur. Actually. Now I'm very mature and my friends are more <laughs> okay. mature, so, uh, so... Not now? Uh, not oh, now, yeah. Maybe in student life, yes. Yeah, in student life, yes, it is. Yeah. It happens? Well, okay. Tamur, it's been a pleasure talking to you, uh, but I'd like you to... There are a lot of youngsters watching you right now, a lot of our audience, locally and internationally. <clears throat> what would you like to say to them? What kind of a message would you like to give? I uh, have uh, two messages, Yes. one for the parents and one for the kids. Uh, for the parents, please support your children for the healthy activity if they like it. Okay. Don't pressurize them. To they become know, doctors, engineers. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Whatever they want in a positive way, you should support them. Very good. So we cannot only create the doctors and engineers. We have, if, if we have all doctors and engineers, so where will be the, the other other people go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So please focus them and support them, like my family support them. And the for generation, new gen young generation, I tell them, please stay avoid negative things and go to for uh, positive things. Start healthy activities. Say no to drugs. Yes, no drugs. You know, start. You know, make your just when you become mature, so your family and your parents should proud on you. For that things, you have to do the right way. And yeah, that's, that's yeah. amazing. I think, Tamu, that's a great message. Yeah. 
yeah. and especially uh, just to add on to what you just said when you go abroad you are representing obviously your family but mm. pakistan your country yes. which is your identity yes the way you behave depicts people form opinions that okay <clears throat> you know this is how pakistani behave so you have to make sure that you have that you carry that legacy on your shoulders and that weight on your shoulders so you have to behave accordingly yes. and secondly <clears throat> yes i think um, all the youngsters they should participate into healthy constructive yeah. activities yeah. Uh, nowadays there's been a lot of talk worldwide globally yeah. about drugs students getting into drugs t youngsters getting into drugs and yes. all which is absolutely a no no yes. you know you should channelize your activities your energies into positive platforms yes. and there are a lot of them available if you can't find any you can join tamir khan's yes. academy yeah. trust me it'll be a lot of fun i've yeah. i've been here it's <clears throat> too much fun tamir thank you so very much <clears throat> it was a pleasure talking to you i wish you <clears throat> all the best and uh, i hope and pray that you become the world champion inshallah uh, soon inshallah and uh, you know we'll have a pakistani world yeah, champion inshallah and we'll be champion in the inshallah. field of boxing also thank you very much thank you viewers with this we come to the end of uh, this episode of sky's element inshallah i will see you in another episode till then allah hafiz